body top hit. Are you ready? Woo! Let's do this. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Karina and I'm a group exercise instructor for Tender and Lotion Centers and Game Changer. We're going to take you through this workout today. We're going to work the upper body, so our core, chest, back, arms, you name it, we're going to work it. All the major upper body muscles. For this workout, you're going to need a kettlebell. Most of the time, we're going to hold it like this, so by the horns or up by the bar. If you haven't got a kettlebell, no excuses. You can use a dumbbell if you've got access to one, or use anything around the home that you can find that's safe and secure to use. Full water bottle, a rucksack, the world's your oyster. Okay, all of these exercises as well can be made for body weight, so you can easily adapt them to just body weight if you prefer, if you haven't got any access to weights. Are you ready? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. Woo! Let's do this. Bring that weight down. Bend those knees as you do so. We're going to take it into the warm up. So we're going to start at the end of that mat. That tummy's going to be nice and tight. Feet underneath those hips and shoulders. We're going to go for some walk outs. We're going to slowly come down through that spine. Walk those hands out into a high plank. Hands underneath the chest, then we're going to walk it back up. So a slow and controlled work movement, mobilising the body here. Ready to go. Body top here. Woo woo! And walk those hands back. Again. Last one here. Coming down. Keep those hips up. And back. Slowly roll through that spine. Take it to a march. Are you ready? For a upper body workout, so you're getting the heart rate up too. We're going to reach across. So reach across the body. Tummy is tight always. We're bringing that arm across to the line of the shoulder. Tap those toes. So we're twisting through that torso here. The core supports our upper body and of course this includes our back. Reach up high. So we get a nice and warm, blood pumping, ready to go, heart rate coming up. Okay, we're going to take it into a march or a light jog. So here or here. Press those hands forward in front of the chest and the shoulders. So, so important today, working at your own pace, but pushing yourself. You want to be working for it. Set those goals high, believe in you will achieve. Woo! So here in a light jog, or here in a march. Bring those arms down, up across and back down. So here or here jogging or marching. Warming up the chest, upper back, arms and shoulders. That core stays tight always, coming to the spine. Are you starting to feel warm? Yes. And the sun is shining. Hands here. Drive those knees up to those hands. Don't lean into it. Drive those knees up. Bring those hands lower if you need. Make sure you've got access to water. Grab it whenever you need today. There will be short bursts of rest for water break. That's it, tummy tight. Warming up that core here, those hip flexor joints. So we've got three different sets today, two exercises per set. So those different changes, those variations with that kettlebell, but all can be used to adapt to body weight. Step it out. Bring it down low in between. Okay, so three sets, two exercises per set. Eight rounds in each set. So we're gonna do two of the first exercise, then two of the second, then repeat for the eight rounds. Don't panic, I've got you. I'll be talking you through as we go. 25 seconds work, 10 rest. You should need that rest. Swing those arms for me. You should need that active rest in between. On that active rest, here, side stepping, or a light jog to keep that heart rate up. Okay, are you ready? Tummy tight. First of exercise I'm going to show you. Grabbing that weight, feet underneath the hips and shoulders. We've got pendulums with an up down arm. Work on the upper back and those arms. Option one is here. Just taking out the impact. 
So up and down. Option two, adding that power. Have control of that weight. Only bring it as high as you can without arching that back. Exercise number one of set one. Exercise number two, stagger that stance if you need. We've got halo, so weight comes in front of the head, twisting around. Keeping those elbows pointing forwards always, and those arms are up. That's exercise number two of set one. Are you ready? Big thumbs up if you're ready. We've got this. Keep it moving for me. I'm gonna set my timer. Okay, let's do this. 25 seconds hard work, 10 seconds rest of the first two exercises. Starting with those pendulums, tummy tight, back nice and tall. So less impact option here. So one leg comes out, arms come up and down. Or you're here, picking it up. Don't lock those elbows out, keeping the weight in front of you. The up is so important, you're gonna work that core as well as those arms. Only bring the weight as high as you can. Great work, step it out. So don't worry if you don't bring that weight overhead, it's about your core control. Are you ready? Round two here. Let's go. So you're only, if you're only bringing it to the chest, not a problem. Working that core, not locking those elbows out, working those arms. Keep breathing, work for it. Pace yourself, push yourself. Woo! Five seconds, less than five. Great job. Keep leaving that halo next. Either feet underneath the hips and shoulders or stagger that stance. Elbows up, weight over the head, back nice and tall. So bring it around and behind. Keep that chin off your chest. You are in control. Keep breathing, do not arch that back. If you're going for just body weight here, same principle. Great job. Step it out. Round two here. Then we've got all of those once more again. Same way. Let's go. So bring it around the crown of the head. Keep that back nice and tall. Standing up straight like a soldier. Core twisting slightly. Shoulders working. Elbows forward. Give me that energy. Feel that sweat. Great job, step it out. Two more of each. Back to those pendulums. And we've got a well-deserved rest. Grab that water then if you need. Okay, pendulums, let's go. So down and up. Arms out in front of you. Bringing them up as high as you can without arching that back. Do not let those elbows out completely. Great work. Pull those shoulder blades back a little bit to make them work. Woo! Great job. One more here. You've got this, girls and boys. Come on, girls and boys. Pulse razor. Keep it strong, working for it. Core tight to that spine. Yes, back to those halos, are you ready? Five seconds, other direction to what you just did if you can remember. Stack of that stance if you need. If you can't remember, just go with it. Well done. Keeping that chest off, away from the chin. How are you doing? Bring it around the face, around the head. Halo from my little angels, ladies and gents.
great job, step it out. One more here, then we're done with set one. Two, we'll rise your set one. Woo! Stagger that stance if you need. Let's go, last 25. Keep breathing, keep looking forward, smile. It's all gonna be okay. Upper body burn, blasting it out, hip style. You are strong. You are in control here. Great work, keep it up to the end. Yes! Air high tens all round. Keep moving, grab that water. You've got this. Keep moving, do not stand still. We don't want that blood to come to our feet. We don't want anyone on the floor. This is all about upper body, not on the floor. Not yet anyway. Okay. Step two, two new exercises. Keep moving, grab some water. I'm gonna tell you the next two. Same principle, so two rounds of exercise one, then two rounds of exercise two, then the same again. So with that weight, keep moving for me. We're gonna hold it by the horns if you've got a kettlebell, by the ends if you've got a dumbbell, wherever you feel most secure and comfortable and safe if you're using the equivalent of something at home. Feet underneath your hips and shoulders. Bring it overhead. Low impact, elbow to knee, so laterally, so out to the side. Weight in the supporting leg. To make it harder, and a bit of a jump. Exercise number one. Number two, holding the bell like this, so the bar comes around the hand. Grease lightning, Greek style, Greek style, sorry. Up and across. Now you see what it's called grease lightning, yeah? <coughs> that's what I call it. Okay, that's exercise number two. Two rounds either side. Take it into a light jog for me, or a high march. So here, or oh here. Heart rate coming back up. You've got this. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. Yeah, that's what you wanna see. Okay, round two, sorry, step two. Keep moving. Are you ready? We're going in 10 seconds. So starting with that lateral elbow to knee. Grab that weight. Holding it by the horns if you've got a bell, or by the end if you've got a dumbbell. Let's go. So here, lateral, elbow to knee. Bring the knee out to the side, the elbow comes to meet it. So we're popping with those obliques here, so we're pop, pop from side to side. So we're coming down into it to meet that elbow to the knee. Once you've got the hang of it, feel free to add that jump, add that power. Step it out. Round one done. It's done, it's over. Round two, same again. Can you pick up that pace now? Work for it. Keep breathing. Inhale as you pop that elbow to knee. Keep that weight overhead as you come up in between. Great job. Have control. Yes. Step it out. Great cycling. One arm comes out in line with the shoulders. Feet underneath the hips and shoulders. Push. And across. Breathe as you push up. Twist from that torso here as you come across. So up, twist, hip stay forward, up, up, twist, have control. Body weight, the same principle, always the same without that weight. Are you ready? Down to here, same arm, we're gonna burn the arm out. It is about working hard, overloading those muscles, which leads to progress. Burning those shoulders out, yeah? So you can do it. Think how good you always feel afterwards. Keep it nice and strong. Keep that body nice and tall. Weight in line, always. 
back to those natural elbow to knees. Only two here, you've got this. Are you ready? Wait, overhead. Let's go. Meet that elbow down to that knee. Knees and elbows out to the side. Get in that core working here too. In those oblique muscles. Which support our abs and our back. Nice and high with those knees. Bring that weight down. I know your arms are burning. We're in this together. Burn is our best friend. I promise you. No burn, no gain. I would say pain, but we don't want pain. We want burn. Okay, last one here. Keep it going. We're almost done with step two now. You are totally in control. Totally got this. Heart rate coming up as that weight comes overhead. Keep it there. Well done. Great job. Other arm now. Breathe tightening. Arm comes out. Tummy tight to that spine. So you're pushing up, then you twist. I'm just going to show you with that weight so you can see. Up and twist. If you haven't got that weight for resistance, keep it going. Still working just as hard without that weight, without that resistance. Awesome job. One final round here. You've got this, give it all you've got. Arm in line with that chest and shoulders. Woo! I feel the sweat dripping in my face. It's not tears, it's sweat. It's workout glow. Keep it going, I know your shoulders are burning. Arm stays in line with the body. Less than 10. You can do it. Keep breathing, keep smiling. Ah, oh, yes. We did it. Awesome, awesome job. Grab that water. Keep moving, do not stand still. We are almost there. We've got one final set and then we are done. Keep up this effort. Give me that energy now. Roll those shoulders as you're stepping it out. Catch your breath, hydrate. One final set to go. This set, set three. We've got a pulse raiser, and we're gonna hit the deck. So exercise number one, keep moving for me. Two options. Option one, hands at the chest forward and back jumps. Working the waist, up those shoulders, helping with those, that resistance. Option two, side to side. You choose. Again, working that core. That's exercise number one. Number two, come down onto the mat, hang on those knees, have your elbows above your head. We're gonna have the weight come down, moving just from the lower arm, bending from the elbows down only. Skull crushes. So the only thing moving is your lower arm. Behind your head, the weight comes down. If you haven't got a weight, you're here, pulsing from the elbows down. Okay. Are you ready? If you've got a kettlebell for this one, holding it by the horns, dumbbell by the end. Last set. Take it to that march for me. Are you ready? Starting with those jumps, forwards and backwards or laterally. Hands at the chest, that weight there for resistance. Are you ready? Woo, let's go. Forwards and backwards or side to side. Either way, you're working that core, legs are close together, body is tall in line always. Have control of that weight here. Don't grip those wrists too much on those fingers, but try not to move that weight as you bounce. It's going to want to move. Well done. Round one done. 
to make it harder now. You can bring it overhead only if you have full control. Do not drop it. So here or here. I don't want any back arching though, please. We don't want to do ourselves an injury after all the hard work. So if you need to, here at the chest is fine. Woo! Power it up. Pulse razor. Heart rate through the roof. Bring it down onto the floor. Knees bent. Back into the mat. 45 degree angle with that arm. Work from the arms down, elbows down. So bring the weight behind the head and back up. Tummy to the spine, back into the mat. So low and up. Keep those elbows pointing up. Don't move those elbows too much. I need to lift and lower. We've got this, working those biceps, triceps here. Great job. One more here. Set yourself up for that success. Arms at 45 degrees, lower and lift. Only the forearms are moving. Keep that back into the mat, Tommy is going to support you. Keep breathing, keep that chin off the chest. Woo! Feel those arms start to burn. Shoulders stay into the mat. Great job. Last four rounds of set three, then we are done. Back to those jumps. Let's go. Woo! Back nice and tall. Spine is straight. In neutral. Can you bring those elbows out? It's going to work them harder. If not, keep them here. You want to control that weight. Little movements here. We don't want to see shaking. Have control. Yes. Well done. My mat is all over the place. Having a party too. Last one here. Let's go. See forwards and backwards. Or side to side. Legs together. Slight gap in between. You've got this. Last pulse raiser here. And we're going to come down for those final skull crushes without crushing the skull. Bring it down. Bend those knees. 45 degree angle. Work from the forearms down. Weight comes down. And then we lift. If you're going for just body weight, we're just going to pulse it here. Tiny movements. Overall, elbows stay pointing up. You've got this. Draw that tummy, embrace those abs now. Upper body hip, almost there. Feel that burn, baby. Last one. You've got this. Are you ready? That's still the last one. <laughs> the beast still crushes. Great work. Lift and lower from those elbows down. Feel those biceps and triceps working. Don't lock those elbows out as you come up. You've got this so close. Give it your all. And pop it down. Awesome, awesome job. Amazing work, great effort, top effort there all round. Feel like we work the whole of the upper body. Heart rate, come up. Slowly roll up through that spine, one vertebrae at a time. Step it out. How did you find it? I hope you feel like you've worked really, really hard. I feel like you certainly have. Keeping those energy levels up, raising that heart rate working on the cardiovascular fitness as well as our strength and conditioning of those muscles, building and maintaining that muscle mass. So many benefits, especially at the moment, physically and mentally. Thank you for joining me today for staying active during this time. 
make sure you tell your friends make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on anything give us a big thumbs up on our video and all of them if you like them across our page across our channel and make sure you keep hydrated now keep this feet moving make sure you go and cool down and stretch keep drinking some water i'm gonna have a shower too you might want to do the same okay and hopefully we'll see you again very soon thank you everybody take care stay safe